we get 19 volt as you can see so here basically this is the power mosfet these two mosfets are power mosfets and here we have the charge ic so we have the ic two mosfets we have inductor chemical capacitor to filter the current and we we will get here 5 volts here as you can see we have the drive high as you can see and drive low basically these two signals are control signals that controls these two mosfets okay in order to generate the 3 volt and 5 volt this is the charge circuit as you can see here we should find 19 volt so the black blob of the meter in the ground and let's check the high pin we get 19 volt as you can see so here basically this is the power mosfet these two mosfets are power mosfets and here we have the charge ic so let's check the source of the first mosfet we get 19 volt this is source and the fourth pin is the gate let's check we have the control signals 8 volt now let's check the drain of the first mosfet always we should get 19 volt in all four pins as you can see 19 volt is present in all pins so here basically this is a 3 volt 5 volt circuit we have two inductors as you can see so let's check this inductor we get 3.3 volt okay the second inductor we should get 5 volt as you can see here basically this is the TPS 51120 this is the 3 volt 5 volt control IC so this IC the TPS 51120 as you can see let's pinpoint this IC in the motherboard we have 51120 okay so this is the 3.3 volt 5 volt control IC that we gonna study right now and over here basically this is the 3 volt 5 volt channel okay as you can see where we have inductors mosfets capacitors and so on we are gonna study all these components step by step so we have the ic two mosfets we have inductor chemical capacitor to filter the current and we we will get here five volts here as you can see we have the drive high as you can see and drive low basically these two signals are control signals that controls these two mosfets okay in order to generate the 3 volt and 5 volts okay so these two mosfets should be controlled by this ic as you can see drive high for the higher mosfet and drive low as you can see controls the lower MOSFET that is connected to the ground and here we have inductor to increase the current capacitor to filter the current as you can see its capacity is 320 30 microfarad for volt and then we will get plus 3 volt basically this is the pad here this is a test point here you can check whether you get 3 volt or not the same for the second channel for plus 5 volt channel we have drive high and drive low over here as you can see so drive high controls the first or the higher MOSFET and of course here we have the, the input voltage the 19 volt as you can see plus V baht means the main voltage and here we have two semi capacitors to remove the noise from the circuit we have C1046 and C1047. So the 19 volt will pass directly here and goes to the first MOSFET. Always the second MOSFET or the lower MOSFET is connected to the ground. So this MOSFET basically is connected to the ground in order to protect the circuit from a high current and high voltage. So the 5 volt will pass through inductor in order to increase the current and then through this electrolytic capacitor C21 in order to filter the current and then serum capacitor as you can see here C22 and then here in the pad one we can check whether we get plus 5 volt or not basically the pad 
is a test point in every channel. So let's see a little bit this component in the motherboard. Always the pad is next to the electrolytic capacitor and to the inductor. So let's check it out. As you can see, we have pad here, pad 4. This is basically the pad, the test point near to the inductor. We have another pad here, as you can see, near to this electrolytic capacitor. The same for the 3 volt channel. We have inductor, we have capacitors here, and we have the pad. If we check the motherboard, as you can see, we have inductor or coil, electrolytic capacitor, and we have the pad where we can check whether we have 3.3 volt or not. So remember, the pad is made to check whether you get the voltage or not. Inductor has as a purpose to increase the current and capacitors to filter the current. As you can see here, basically, this is a 3 volt, 5 volt circuit where we have the IC, as you can see, US6, and here we have the plus 5 volt channel here and over here we have the plus 3 volt channel so for every channel as you can see you will find MOSFETs usually two MOSFETs you will find an inductor in order to increase the current and some capacitors here we have one electrolytic capacitor and another ceramic capacitor the electrolytic capacitor has as a purpose to filter the current and here the serum capacitor eliminate the noise in the circuit so and then we have the pad where you can take measurement this is basically a test point so here we'll find 5 volts okay and of course here we have the input so basically here we have plus v -bat. as we have seen before the plus v bat is the main voltage in the motherboard. It will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard. So for this channel, I mean 5 volt channel, we have here 19 volt that will pass through these capacitors in order to eliminate the noise and then pass through this MOSFET. These two MOSFETs are controlled by this IC as you can see the TP is 51120 so the same for the other channel for plus 3 volt channel okay we have also two MOSFETs as you can see this is basically the input signals the 19 volt will pass here through one ceramic capacitor as you can see its reference is C1062 as you can see and its capacity is 10 microfarad, 25 volt. So, and here we have two MOSFETs. We have induction L4 in order to increase the current. And we have also two capacitors. One electrolytic capacitor with the capacity of 330 microfarad and 5 volt. And this one here, one microfarad, 10 volt. This is basically serial capacitor. And over here, we have the pad, the test point, where you can check whether you get plus 3 volt or not.